Hello, welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back in another video. In this video, we will learn how to open the Google Map application from our Flutter application. Basically, this requirement came when we are developing any application where there is a need for the Google Map, but we don't want to use our APIs. And in that case, we can also use the Google Map application within the Flutter application. So this is our application. And here, if I click on the open Google Map, it will open the Google map application and it will give us that longitude latitude, which we will provide. And on the basis of that, it will show the location here. And also we can use the direction feature, share feature or save feature also within the Google map application. So before starting the video, if you're new to our channel, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. This is the package which we are going to use in our application that is your underscore launcher and this package will be used to open any application within the flutter application so we have to provide the url here and on the basis of that url it will check if that particular application is installed in our mobile phone or not if it is installed then it will open that url within the application not in the browser so let's move to the flutter code to integrate that plugin with our application So first of all, we will add the package here and we will go to the pep spec and here we will add the package and the package name is URL underscore launcher and the version number is 6.0.9. So now we will create one utility file and that file will be used to create that map code and all. So here we will create the new file name that will be map underscore utils dot dot file and here we will create the class here class map utils and here the constructor part map utils and we will create one static function here that function will be used to open the google map from the flutter application and here we have static future return type is void here because we are not returning anything here and then we have that name of the function that is open map and then we have the parameters here the first parameter will be double type of latitude and then we have a double type of longitude and we will make it as a async here and here we have the url and we have that google map url is equal to and the url path will be https slash www.google.com slash maps slash search slash question mark and here we have to provide the query string and the first one will be api is equal to one and query is equal to dollar latitude first parameter then comma dollar second parameter that is longitude then here we will check if await can launch and here we have to provide the url google map url if it is true then here we will call await launch and here we will provide the url here google map url in the else condition we will throw error could not open the map so what we are doing here we have created one function here that is open map and there we are providing two parameters first one is latitude and the second one is a longitude then we have the url here and the url we are having that map slash search and we are searching here with that longitude latitude and it will get the url here and here we are checking if we can open the url or not that means it is checking if that google map application is installed or not in the device if it is installed then it will open that url and it will open that url directly into the application that google map application now let's create the home screen to check this functionality is it working or not so now we will go here in the main.dart file and here we have our page here that is google map page and here we have the safe area then we have scaffold widget and here in the body we have the container here so now here inside the container we will create one button here and here we have the child and here we will write text button then you have the style here and here we are using text button style text button dot style from and here we have to provide the background color and we are using a color start red color and it will make that background color of the button as a red here and then we have the on press event and then we have here child child will be that uh, content which we have to provide inside the button and here we can provide icon also and here we can provide a text also or anything else we want to do and here we are using and we are using a text visit and here we have the text here open google map 
And then we have the style here and the style we are using for the color of that text here and we are using a text style then we have the color here and we are using a color dot white color so now here in the on press event we have to call our utility here that is map utils dot open map and here we have to provide the longitude latitude and now we are using any longitude latitude so now here we are opening that facebook headquarter address here and for that we are just copy pasting that longitude latitude here so here that longitude latitude for that our facebook headquarter address so now let's run the application to see is it working or not so here our application is the button is coming but not in the center so let's make it in the center so here we will wrap it with our center widget so now you can see here the button is coming in the center of the screen so now if i click on that button it will open the google map here so now you can see here it added that longitude latitude here in the text box and here we are getting the location here so now from this location we can also use our direction feature also and this type of utility is very useful if you are making any application which required the google map a lot but we don't want to use our own api and we can use the google map application instead of that example of that application are you can say that the uber application that ola application or you can say any food delivery application where the driver is using the application so that's all in this video i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome videos thank you for watching the video